Hi there, this is Ashwin. In our earlier series of videos, we learned how to get started with Python programming in Windows, Linux, as well as Mac OS platforms. We already wrote our uh, first uh, Python code, and we also saw why Python is called as an interpreter programming language. So uh, from this tutorial onwards, we will be using uh, integrated development environments for uh, developing our Python code. So let's uh, get introduced to few IDEs which are popular amongst Python programmer all over the world. So till now we have uh, written and executed our programs on command line only. But from this video onwards, we should go ahead with, we should go ahead and explore the world of the amazing world of IDEs because IDEs provide a greater flexi flexibility to all the programmers. So ideally three is the default editor for Python programs on windows. So when you install Python three, uh, uh, then uh, ideally 3 is all, all automatically installed on your Windows computer. Just type ideally and it will invoke ideally automatically. Okay, so it will start the ideally in interactive mode. So uh, basically in background this calls the Python's uh, interactive shell and it uh, whatever we type here in it, it feeds it to the Python's interactive shell and provides us the appropriate output. So you can type a program, you can type a, a small command to display hello world, the signature program for beginners. So here we go, it prints hello world. You can even do some basic arithmetic. You can even print Okay, you can even print the multiplication of a string. So this is all uh, about the interactive mode using ideally. Uh, but we are not actually uh, here for learning how to use ideally for interactive mode because uh, interactive mode can even be invoked from the command prompt. So we are here to use the code editor as well as how to run the program using the IDE in the scripting mode. So open a uh, click file and then in that click new file option, it will open a window. And once this window opens, you can uh, close the earlier window of Python shell because ideally, uh, ideally will be still running in the background. So here we are going to type the program for uh, printing hello world as well as doing some basic mathematics type hash hash stands for comment in Python. Say program for demo. Print. Hello world. Pi equal to 3.14. R equal to 1. It's a unit circle. So print pi r square pi into r into r. So this is going to print uh, the area of a unit circle. So when you click run, we have like a couple of options here. You can directly go to the Python shell by clicking this thing or you can run the module. If you, uh, if you ask it to run the module, uh, if you haven't saved your module earlier, it is going to ask you uh, for saving your program. So just click OK. Save it anywhere you want. I'm going to save it on desktop. Prog01. Do not uh, add any sort of extension as we did in command line mode earlier um, in the earlier videos because this is an IDE. So IDEs usually tend to save the uh, files with appropriate extension. They usually append the extension to the file name. So now this one is uh, this one is an editor for Python's code. So it will automatically append .py after the file name so that um, your computer will be able to uh, automatically associate the IDLE with all the Python files, at least initially, unless you change the settings. So just save. Okay. So it has already saved the program on desktop. See, I am selecting that particular file. Okay. It reads type as Python file 
it says uh, it says size is 86 bytes and it it reads the last modified date and uh, in this window we can see that our program has already been executed it prints the hello world statement it also prints the area of a unit circle so this is how we use the ideally so uh, j just like any other text editors uh, i mean this ideally is a text editor plus uh, a, uh, a a place where you can execute the python programs directly from that text editor that's why it is known as uh, ideally integrated development and learning environment so if you uh, click run and just say check module it is going to check your module and go to the command prompt so suppose if you commit some mistake in your code and then if you are going to say check module okay so if you are going to say run module it is going to show you the error directly on the command prompt when you rectify the error and then run the module it is going to run the module in the same command prompt so uh, we have already discussed earlier that python is not an interpret uh, sorry i'm sorry python is not a compiled programming language it is an interpreted programming language that's why we do not have any sort of uh, compilation option here so if you go through all the menu you, you will not find any option for compiling your program you can directly run your program to the command prompt and it will execute in case there are no errors in the program as you have already seen if there is an error in, in the program it will run only till the point um, uh, the program is correct after and it will stop at the point where you have uh, got the error in your script that's why that is the basic difference between a compiled programming language as an and an interpreted programming language that suppose you have 10 lines of code and uh, the compiler uh, the compiled uh, programming language will not compile that code if there is an error in that code but an interpreted programming language like python or even shell scripting they will execute the code till they encounter uh, no error in the code so once they encounter the error in the code the program will terminate it automatically so this is it this is how we um, use the uh, ideally in interactive as well as scripting modes so this was for windows let's see how to do the same on linux platform okay till now we have seen how to use ideally 3 on windows platform uh, now here we are going to see how to use the ideally 3 on linux platform i'm using raspbian on raspberry pi for demonstrating this you can use any other linux operating system like uh, fedora or uh, ubuntu or centos for the same in order to install ideally 3 on your system open the command prompt type sudo apt get install ideally 3 okay so in case you have uh, installed the latest version of uh, raspberry pi's uh, raspbian then you will have ideally 3 automatically updated to the latest version so you don't have to do anything special to get ideally 3 on your uh, raspbian so in order to install it on other uh, flavors of uh, debian you just need to type sudo apt get install ideally 3 the command is down there in the description uh, do check it if you don't have ideally 3 on your computer so once we install ideally 3 you can find it from the menu you can find it in programming so here you have ideally 3 so ideally 2 is for python 2 and ideally 3 is for python 3 It will take some time for ideally to get started okay now ideally 3 has started in python's interactive shell again and the process is same basically you just need to click file and then new file and here you can start the scripting for python so i'm not going to repeat it again so you try it yourself the other way of invoking ideally 3 is uh, from the command prompt so let's open another command prompt and just type ideally3 
and it will open an ideally window so this is how we can use ideally for developing the programs in python from now onwards we will use ideally as our preferred um, integrated development environment for python 3 coding thanks a lot